What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by TempCube, a multi-purpose Wi-Fi temperature and humidity sensor. This thing is really, really awesome for your personal and commercial purposes. For example, if you want to use it at home, it works really, really great. But if you want to set one of these up in the office and have it fully automated, it can work very, very well as well. Now, the really cool thing about this device is that it works everywhere. You can go ahead and run it on the battery or you can go ahead and run it via a wired micro usb connection then once you have it all set up there's this really really awesome application and inside of the application you have access to everything you can monitor your temperature you can set up alerts for lows and highs in regards to temperature and of course humidity and this can be really really important for example let's say out of nowhere your heat goes to like 85 or you set it wrong or something of those sorts especially when we all have smart thermostats these days it just takes one wrong click of an app and all of a sudden you know the thermostat can read something else but your kids are home you don't want that to happen so this thing can notify you that hey the temperature upstairs is at 80 degrees and it really shouldn't be so that's something you can go ahead and do so it's monitoring 24 7 and it can alert you 24 7 whenever it hits critical levels the other interesting thing is you know winter is coming up you know you might leave someone home maybe an older person and all of a sudden um let's say you forgot to turn on the heat at all or the thermostat is completely broken this thing can go ahead and notify you saying hey the the, the house is freezing it's like 51 degrees in the house somehow and all of a sudden you could be like wait a minute something's up got to get home got to fix that so it's a nice preventative measure as well it can also alert you to humidity you see this is very important in attics and in basements so inside of basements the humidity levels are just all over the place you get the moist smell there can get there can be mold if it's not dealt with correctly and a lot of people will install a dehumidifier inside of their basement However, sometimes maybe the machine broke or it's just not working. And now, you know, all of a sudden, a week, three weeks, a month later, you realize now my basement is all moldy and musty. You don't want that. So this thing can notify you when that happens as well. It can notify you via email and SMS. And of course, it's all connected to your 2.4 gigahertz router. So of course, you're pretty much set to go. Now, my favorite thing about this is that it does come with a rechargeable battery that can last up to four days. Now, four days is not a long, long time. So technically speaking, I'm going to consider this more of a powered device. However, with that said, a really, really nice thing with the four days is that, let's say, the power goes out or something of those sorts. You still have your readings for everything. And this could be important. Now, you're like, power goes out. Why would I need this? Well, you see, when the power goes out, your heat system might go out or something of those sorts as well. And this is why it might be critical for you to monitor the house temperature and all that and be like, okay, now's a good time for us to maybe go somewhere else, get a hotel in the storm. That's just something small that you may want to consider. Speaking of small, this thing is very tiny. It's around the size of my palm of my hand and I can kind of hold it. It's very lightweight. I can toss it up and I can hang it anywhere and it has this cool little sticky mechanism where you can kind of use this mount to stick it anywhere you need and you're pretty much set to go. So all in all, I think this thing is really, really cool. The app is seamless. You're able to use it anywhere. And of course you can graph all everything and you can see trends and maybe even energy savings. Maybe you got new windows and you're like, hey, now on average, my house is at 65 degrees. So graphing things is really, really cool hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe check out the link below thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off